Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Alright, so let's get started right now. Okay, so today is the uh, uh, twi uh, 2nd of uh, July 2020 on Thursday. So, um, sorry what happened earlier. Uh, I think uh, the, the, um, how do you say, the, uh, the, the reminder uh, was in a different time, so I was actually outside of home and I wasn't able to uh, change the start time for the live, and that's why uh, I wasn't uh, I wasn't able to do that. But uh, um, yeah, so uh, so from from uh, 29th of June, uh, the live star live stream starts uh, at 6 p.m. GST. So. Um, so before it was starting at 11 p.m. GST, but now it's starting from 6 p.m. GST. So yeah, sorry about the confusion about the uh, the time for today. Uh, for some reason, um, I created the uh, reminder, and for some reason the um, yeah the time was kind of uh, different. But uh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, you can just stick with the stick with this time. Whenever you see it's different, uh, I will start the live at 6 p.m. GST from now on. So this is 9 a.m. in UTC time zone. Yeah. All right. All right. So, all right. So let's see. So I will talk about hundred lines today, or a mid price about ichimoku. So today, so um. Today's on a Thursday, so every Thursdays and every Tuesdays I talk about Ichimoku Kin Kohyo. So that's why uh, today I wanted to talk about the main important uh, concept about Ichimoku, that is the uh, the mid price theory, that is called Hanne line in Japanese. Because um, Ichimoku is created um, actually the four lines, um, senko span. B, Senko Span A, and Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen are all created by the mid price. So they take the highest price and the lowest price, and they take the mid price in between. So um, let me show it to you on the chart. Alright, and uh, yeah, so um, before starting anything, uh, just a disclaimer, please. Uh, just remember that the, uh, the, the all this knowledge is based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk, okay? And if you would like to know more about Ichimoku, then I run the Ichimoku community here. Uh, so this is a monthly subscription. And if you see the join button on the YouTube, that's where you can join on this Ichimoku community. So I run this Ichimoku community for the first past uh, four or five months. And uh, the number is increasing now, um, and you will get to have the Ichimoku Basic Master Book as one of the perks. That is actually uh, 150 pages long, and I talk everything, everything about Ichimoku Kinkohyo here. I mean, the uh, the basics, the basics of Ichimoku Kinkohyo you can learn in this community. And also, I'm working to write the second book that is about the three theories: uh, wave theory, uh, price theory, and time theory. And that book will be available also within the community too. And also, you um, you can uh, get to join the Ichimoku Discord, and there will be uh, membership lives every week too. So today, after this public live, there will be a Ichimoku membership. So for those who are members, I will see you there. So and if you are interested, please uh, you can you are always welcome to join this Ichimoku community. So. Um, so yeah, let's talk about Hanne line today. So here is a chart. Oh, looks like it's kind of misplaced. Hold on, let me move it to the right place. Okay, there you go. And I just noticed that there is no chat. So hold on, let me put that one here too. Okay, just hold on please. Okay, there you go. All right, I see your name and your comments too. All right, so thank you. Thank you for uh, joining everyone. All right, good to see you. Good to see you. 
All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, <laughs> depending on where you are. Uh, yeah, good afternoon from Japan. All right, so Hane Line. So once again, Hane Line is besides it uh, besides the Chikou span, Hane Line is actually uh, for these four lines uh, of Ichimoku that are uh, Senko span A, Senko span B, and Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen. And Hane Line is the mid price of the market for the certain time period in the past. So, for example, Tenkan Sen. And uh, if you can answer, um, do you know how many candles does Tenkan Sen uh, takes for the last uh, last number of days or candles? Can you answer? So, we're just focusing on Tenkan Sen now. And I just wanted to see how many candlesticks uh, Tenkan Sen takes. And hold on, um, let me go sneeze a little bit. My my nose is not really in a good condition. Hold on. So please type your answer, and I will get back to you soon. Sorry about that. Okay, thank you for waiting. Sorry, I just got a glass of water too. So, yeah, for some reason, uh, there is um, it's, it's so dry right now today in Japan. So that's why my nose is not really in a good condition. But uh, yeah, I hope uh, I can just keep going. Okay, so Tenkan Sen is uh, yeah nine nine nine. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Nine nine. Yep. All right. So yeah. Tenkan Sen takes nine candles in the past. Exactly, exactly. You're right, you're right. So you are on the way to become a Ichimoku master now. <laughs> yeah. So let me take a Tenkan Sen right now. So here is a Ichimoku, and let me just take out all these other lines. Uh, Kijun Sen, I will just take it, and Chikou Span, Kumo, also I just take it, and I just Put this uh, Tenkan Sen, the blue line. So here is a Tenkan Sen. And Tenkan Sen takes the highest price and the lowest price for the last nine candles. Okay, so currently the price is here. So it takes the highest price, oops, uh, not this one, the highest price and the lowest price for the last nine candles. So this is the highest price. And this is the lowest price for the last nine candles, and that's why this is 50% level. I mean, this is the mid price in between 50% level. So, and this is called hanne in Japanese. Han means half, and ne means price in Japanese. So hanne directly translated as mid price. So, um, this Tenkan Sen is one of the mid price, one of the Hanne lines in Ichimoku. So, and also uh, Kijun Sen 
and single span AB are also Hanne lines for the past certain period of time. And this is what actually makes un uh, Ichimoku very unique because it doesn't take the close price. So we have to understand this concept first if you want to be uh, become a uh, Ichimoku master or you, if you want to use Ichimoku in your daily analysis and take trace, um, you have to understand this concept first correctly. Unlike moving average, Ichimoku takes the highest price and lowest price for the last 9 candles in Tenkan Sen and it actually takes the mid price. So this is very important. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, highest price, lowest price uh, divided by two in short term. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah. So that's right. That's right. Yep. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Okay. So yeah. So that's why um, uh, Tenkan Sen is located here, just because this is in the price. And so here's another question. What does, what makes Tenkan Sen move? What does, uh, what does, um, what does it, what does the Tenkan Sen um, move? I mean, uh, in what condition? In what condition does the Tenkan Sen move? There are two conditions. There are two conditions. So. If you correctly understand the concept of the Hanne line, then in what condition does this Tenkan Sen move? Right now, this is flat. So let me ask you this question. If you have watched my uh, past videos, I mean the uh, Ichimoku Basic Lecture Part 1 to 5, you must be able to answer this question. So if you're in front of the PC or mobile, please um, type your answers so that the, uh, you can really input this information too. So I encourage you to uh, type your answers here. And uh, yeah, and that's, that's partially because uh, I do these lives every day because I output myself to you so that it can be the best learning for myself too. And that's why I do these lives every day. Yeah, and of course to share my knowledge and experience too. Okay, all right. So let's come back to some of your comments now. Okay, twenty six. Um, yeah, all right. Nine and twenty six is um, yeah. So these are one of the Kihon Suchi numbers, and that these numbers are what Gochi Gochi Hosoda found based on his experience. If the highest price goes more than previous candle price, yep. Higher high and higher low for the last nine days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A new bar appears, yeah. So simply, if the new bar appears, then it doesn't really make the tenkan sen to move. Breakout of of the range, yeah. That's one condition. Breakout of the range will be one condition. That's true. New high and new low. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The price breaks the lower than the lowest price for the last nine candles. Yep, yep. Equilibrium. Mm -hmm. That's true. This is called equilibrium line. So all hundred lines are equilibrium lines. So simply by looking at the location, I mean of the current price, to these three or four lines of Ichimoku, you know the equilibrium of the market, simply, at a glance. All right. Time. Also, when higher low becomes new higher low. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Higher high becomes higher, low becomes higher. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, I think you get the idea, right? You get the uh, you get the uh, right idea here. So, all right. Move in a pivot. All right, pivot. Move in a direction and it shows a momentum with price action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So price action is very important. 
along with the Ichimoku too. Yeah, if you know the price price action, it helps you a lot to to understand Ichimoku. For example, wave analysis, and also these、um, four lines in five lines too. So yeah,、um, so let's let's think about when the Tenkan Sen will move upwards to this way. It goes upwards in two con two condition. That's when the high renews. Even higher. In this case, this is one of the cases when the Kijun Sen m o v e upwards because, in this case, the mid price will raise upwards a little bit. Now, the mid price is here because the highest price is here, but if the highest price renews the recent high upwards, then that will make the,、uh, the Tenkan Sen to move upwards too. Okay, so that's one condition. And the second condition when the Tenkan Sen m o v e upwards will be when the low will be renewed higher while the high remains the same. So, while high remains the same, when the low gets higher and higher, then that will also make this Tenkan Sen to move upwards too. Because the mid price will Slightly go upwards. Does that make sense, everyone? So, these are two conditions either high renews the recent high upwards or the low renews higher too. And these are two conditions when Tenkan Sen m o v e upwards. And it, when Tenkan Sen goes downwards, there are also two conditions. Once again, the either low Gets lower, that will make the Tenkan Sen lower, and also the high gets lower too, while the low remains the same. In that condition, the Tenkan Sen will go downwards too. And so, this is the definition of the trend in Ichimoku, and that's why we have to know about the concept of Hanne line. So, unlike moving average, moving average takes the close price for the last、uh, couple of、uh, candles in the past, depending on the period of the,、uh, the parameter. But Ichimoku is fixed 9, 26, and 52. So, and it takes the highest price and lowest price. Tenkan Sen takes the highest and lowest for the last nine candles. And that's how. Tenkan Sen moves. But either way, right,、um, either case,、uh, whether the price gets lower and lower, and I mean, I mean、uh, whether the highest price gets lower and lower, or the lowest will get lower and lower, either way, this is a trend in Ichimoku. And that's why Tenkan Sen, that's what, tenkan, that's what、uh, this Tenkan Sen m o v e So,、um, yeah, so just remember that there are two conditions when these lines move. Not only the renewal, I mean,、uh, not only the breakout, but also it will also make, make it move when the low gets higher, higher too, while high remains the same. It goes upwards this way. So,、um, Yeah, and let's, let's take a look at the、uh, Kijun Sen next time. So, Kijun Sen, I put this one on green color. And so, here is the Kijun Sen. So, Kijun Sen takes how many candles? I think you know already. Kijun Sen takes how many candles? Do you know? Okay, Okay, 26, 26, yep, 26. That's true, that's true. Yeah, so Kijun Sen takes 26 candles in the past. So 26 candles, highest price and lowest price. 
So in this case, uh, the highest price, I mean, if I calculate, if I measure, if I count the candles, 60, uh, 26 bars in the back was here, in this one. So from this candlestick right here, um, from this candlestick right here, the highest price was here, and also the lowest price is here too. So, and this one right now is in the middle, in, in the mid price, fifty percent level is the Kijun Sen one, once again. So Kijun Sen also is one of the hundred lines that it takes the highest price and lowest price, but it takes the highest and lowest for the last twenty six candles. So Tenkan Sen takes the nine candles in the past. And Kijun Sen takes the 26 candles in the past. And that's the basic difference. Okay. So, once again, uh, Tenkan Sen, uh, sorry, Kijun Sen will move upwards when the high will be renewed higher, while the roll remains the same. When the high will get renewed higher, then that will make this Kijun Sen to move upwards. And also, while the high remains the same, when the low gets higher and higher, then that will also make this Kijun Sen to move upwards to this way too. Yeah, so that's that's, that's the uh, two, two condition. Uh, what uh, ha, what uh, this... Uh, Kijun Sen move up or down. Um, yeah, I have blocked nose. Yeah, that's true. That's true. My nose is not. My nose is not really in a good condition for some reason. Yeah, thank you. I'm okay. I'm I'm healthy. It's just my nose that's just the uh, just making this sound. So sorry about about this uh, the sound. So I've uh, just got a cup of uh, water here. So. Yeah, this is live and this is not a recording, so that's why, um, yeah, anything can happen in life, right? <laughs> so, yeah, but I prefer to do the live instead of recorded video because we can look at the same chart at the same time, and I can just see your comments real time, and this is the beauty of the live stream, and also you can watch the archive still and enjoy the archive too. Okay, so so these are two conditions. So let me show you the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen now. Okay, so let me show you the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen only. So Tenkan Sen is blue, Kijun Sen is green, and there we go. So here is a Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen here. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you for the words. Yeah, I will take care of myself. Thank you. Yeah. Make sure Corona doesn't spread through speaker voice. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will uh, I will block I will block this this uh speaker. <laughs> I mean the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you will not become a Pinocchio, okay? Sure. <laughs> I won't become a Pinocchio like a big nose. <laughs> Yeah, long nose. <laughs> yeah, I won't. I won't. Yeah, please, uh, please take care. Uh, take care of you too. Please, uh, please uh, be healthy uh, to you too. Yeah. Okay, so here is the chart with the uh, Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen now. So now that uh, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen overlapping, and you know the reason why now. You can see um, the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen overlapping right now, and that's because the highest price and the lowest price for the last nine candles, last twenty six candles is the same. It's the same, and that's why they overlap right now. So sometimes, and this is another uniqueness of Ichimoku about Hane line, but um, sometimes the line overlaps completely, like this. 
Moving average won't overlap completely. It's very rare, but in Ichimoku Hane lines, uh, you see overlaps many times. Like uh, in the back, in this area too, it was overlapping, and also here too, it was overlapping. And currently, they're overlapping too. So whenever they overlap, that means that for the last 9 and 26 candles high and low were actually at the same price. Okay? And most likely that's why they overlap. And that's exactly what's happening right now. And technically speaking, this is when there is a Y wave. I mean, the Y wave is uh, when the highs are getting higher and higher for the last 26 candles and the lows are getting lower and lower for the last 26 candles. When you see this kind of condition, um, that's actually, yeah, that's one of the conditions when you see these overlaps. And that's exactly what's happening right now in the market. Um, it's kind of expanding, like, a, uh, how do you say, like a volatility is getting higher and higher now. So this is Y wave. So it might be resisted in this area and the price can go backwards from here. And that's what it shows here. Because um, another uniqueness of the Hanne line is that the, uh, the price will come back to Hanne line. Okay, well the price will come back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen or Senko Span A or B. Uh, no market will be away from these lines forever. It doesn't happen. It will never happen. The price should come back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen or the Kumo in the future at some point. And that's another uniqueness about these Hane lines. And that's because that's because they take the mid price of the range. I mean, they take the mid price of the highest price and lowest price. So, uh, with that being said, uh, right now the price is away from this Hane line. As you can see, the price is away from the Hane line. And uh, when you see this, when you see the Y gap in between the current price level to the Hane line, then you can expect that the price will come back to these Hane lines. Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. Sometime in the future. Uh, we never know when uh, the, the price will come back to these lines, but it will come back to, it will touch these Kijun Sen or Tenkan Sen sometime in the future. So, I said this earlier uh, on my previous video too, but whenever the price gets away from this um, Kijun Sen, it will come back to Kijun Sen. As you can see in the back, and whenever it gets away, then it will come back to Kijun Sen. And this one too, it gets away from the Kijun Sen, then it come back, can, comes back to Kijun Sen. And now it's getting away from this Kijun Sen. So now we can expect that the price will come back to Kijun Sen at some point in the future. And this is another way to, to use these Hanne lines. And this concept is very effective whenever you want to take trades in the range. Um, I don't recommend you to take trades in the range unless you know how to manage your own money. But uh, to me, yeah, to me, I sometimes I take trades in the range. Sometimes I take trades within the P wave or the Y wave because I know this concept. I know this concept of the Hanna line that the price will come back to the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen or Senko Span B or A. And that's how I take trades sometimes. And that's another uniqueness about Hane line as a part of the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo concept. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me go sneeze one more time. Okay. Just a moment, sorry.
Okay, okay. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, um, it's not really in a good condition, so sorry about that. But um, yeah, thank you for waiting. Okay, so I hope you get the idea about this uh, Hanne line. So far, so far, so good. Um, yeah, so um, and this applies to Senko Span A and B too, which I will show it to you um, next uh, on the next uh, next chart. In Euro USD, I saw a N wave in one hour chart. Okay, okay. So one hour chart. Let's take a look at it. So wave analysis is also important uh, to to take it along with this Hanne line concept too. So I will add some information little by little, so that um, you can further understand the depth of Ichimoku Kinkohyo. So yeah, this is N wave. Yeah, like uh, that's true. That's true. This is currently N wave, and now it's going up. But if you look at the price right now, um, um, to uh, to this Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, you know you can know that uh, you can notice that that the current price is away from this Tenkan Sen, and also away from this Kijun Sen too. So what's gonna happen when you see this kind of condition is that the uh, you can expect that the price will come back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. So in other words, we can expect the the retracement at some point. Yeah, uh, when you when you use the oscillator like a RSI or Scale Six MACD, you might see that there is a overshooted market. Oh, depending on the setting, depending on the the setting of of the numbers, um, you might see it's overheated or overbought market right now but in terms of the handle lines I mean in terms of this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen handle lines we also know that uh, this is overbought market so um, we can still look for the buy chance but uh, at the same time we have to prepare for the retracement might come sometime in the near future too Um, yeah, hundred lines with uh, two hundred candles. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Rainy Tokyo. Yeah, today was very sunny. Today's uh, very good weather in Tokyo. But yeah, these days it's raining. Like uh, yesterday, the day before has been raining. And uh, yeah, so weather is changing right now. Weather is changing, and uh, yeah, it's becoming humid. Today it's relatively dry. But uh, yeah, usually Japan, Tokyo in summertime is very humid, which is a part that I don't like really about Tokyo. <laughs> I don't like the humidity really. So I hope I can survive this summer. Uh, yeah, precaution is better. So take medicines. Sure, sure. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I will. I will take care of myself. But reached the target NT in one hour. Okay, so um, yeah. So let's see, and we can draw the horizontal line like this, and we can see if there is any former uh, resistance here. And right now, I don't see any resistance in the past, so we can see, still expect that the price might go all the way up to the recent high, which is at this level. of a 1.1347 area the price can go all the way up to that level and right now the price is at 1.1308 level 01 level so uh, the highest price i mean the recent high so we still have uh have uh yeah like a 46 of uh pips to the upside to the recent high on this uh, swing high here but now, if you take this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, then you know that this is uptrend, but the price is getting, going away from 
the the Tenkansen now. And let me add the Kumo to this chart. And you will see you can find more information here. Okay, if I add the Kumo like this, then you know that there is a uh, currently the Kumo is moving up. Right, the, currently the Kumo is moving up and uh, Senko span B is going flat but Senko span A is going upwards now. And also you know that uh, the price is away from the Kumo too. Price is all the way up from the Kumo. So, and Senko span B is currently flat. So we can also expect that the price can go backwards from here too. So I usually take trades in uh, based on a 5 and 50 minute chart. So um, my trading edges are based on these smaller time frames. I don't take trades based on one hour chart. But um, if I see that market like this, then I can clearly see that there is this is the uptrend. First of all, and the price renewed this uh, previous high upwards now, and this is in the middle of the uptrend. But I will wait for the pushback, uh, the decent pushback, and then I will look for the buy chance from here. And that pushback might be happening at the uh, the the uh, the Tenkan Sen bounce, or if you can draw the trend line. If you draw the trend line like this way, then the price might be reacted by the line and it might bounce off of the line too. So either way, I will wait for the pushback and then I will look at the 5 or 15 in this area. I will look into the price action in smaller time frames and look for the buy chance from there. But um, I also expect that the price might come back to Kijun Sen or come back to Kumo too. And this is where we need to understand the money management skill. Yeah, if you're risking too much, then you might lose your money a lot. So sometimes it's very uh, important to, uh, to, to, uh, to be able to know how many percent risk you're taking per trade. All right. But yeah, technically this is uptrend. So yeah, I will be looking for the buy chance based on the one hour chart. And I will look at the four hour chart, daily chart condition too, and also see whether I will take a buy or not. Obviously, Chikosman is above the candles now. So that is another confirmation that I will take a buy too. So this is normal range, this is uptrend, but uh, because of the hundred line concept, if the price gets away and away from these hundred lines, then sometimes, right, sometime later, the price will come back to the hundred line. So just just make sure that the uh, you see the gap in between Tenkan Sen to the current price and Kijun Sen to the current price, and also uh, the Kumo to the current price. I mean, single span B. A, B to the current price is very important. So, yeah, and like I said before uh, on, on the previous live, uh, by looking at the current price level, we know exactly what the market momentum is and also uh, the direction of the market too. So right now, um, the Senko Span B is flat. So that means that there is no direction in longer term. Hold on. Okay, I guess I will keep talking like this, maybe. <laughs> this is going to be like a, like a radio show. But yeah, uh, without my face, Maybe I will just keep talking because I will uh, 
wipe my nose a little bit. But um, yeah, so coming back to this topic, um, you know that there is the current price is located above these four lines. So that means that this is bullish in short to mid to long term simply because the current price is above these four lines. So where the current price is located is very important because that's how we know the uh, the momentum of the market. So now current price is here and this is above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen and Kumo too. So Tenkan Sen shows the short term and Kijun Sen shows the mid term and Kumo shows the long term market momentum. So current price is above this all these three lines or four lines including Senko Span A, all these are actually um, below the current price level. So simply that means that the market is bull biased now. This is the equilibrium is bull bullish in short to mid long term. And then uh, we can focus on the direction. Uh, in terms of the direction, we can focus on this Senko Span B angle and the uh, Kijun Sen angle and Tenkan Sen angle. And uh, right now this is flat. Senko Span B is flat. So that means that the long term is actually flat range. So there is no direction in terms of the long term. But it doesn't mean that it keeps going up or downwards. Um, this is by biased in long term because the price is located above the Kumo. So we can still expect that the price will go upwards from here. But now there is no direction. All right Now there is no direction because simply because Senkospan B is flat right now. And if you look at the Kijun Sen, Kijun Sen is also flat too. So that means that there is no direction uh, in mid term market momentum here. So in the midterm, the price might go upwards, downwards, we never know which way it's gonna go. But because this is buy biased, also in midterm too, we can expect that the price will go upwards from here too. But if the Kijun Sen goes upwards like this, that will really mean that in the midterm too, this is uptrend. That is uptrend. But now this is flat. So that's, that's, that means that there is no direction in the midterm. And finally, if you look at the Tenkan Sen here, the Tenkan Sen is moving upwards. So Tenkan Sen is the only, uh, is the only, a, uh, only line, only honey line that's going upwards now. So we know that in the short term, currently the market is moving up. Okay, so short term, market is bullish, direction is bullish, because Tenkan Sen is moving up, but in the mid term to long term, these are flat, so uh, there is no direction in mid to long term. And uh, that's why I ask you to focus on the angles of Senko Span B, and also Senko Span A and Kijun Sen too. Uh, because um, when they are moving up, for example, when single span B up and Kijun Sen upwards, and also single span A upwards too, um, even if the Tenkan Sen goes flat, that means that this is uptrend in mid to long term. So, so that means that this retracement can be temporary, and but we can still expect that the price will continue to go upwards uh, to this way if Kijun Sen and uh, Senko Span B are moving up. But when you see Kijun Sen, Senko Span B are flat, that means that direction-wise, the long term to mid term is flat range. So there is no direction in mid to long term. 
uh, there is a direction uptrend in short term too but because this is short term it can change anytime right now this is moving up but soon uh, it might go downwards too so it, be, it might become fake uh, right this Tenkan Sen or uh, sorry yeah, this yeah this Tenkan Sen angle might become fake and it might go downwards from here so um, if you want to become a trend follower I recommend you to look at the angle of Kijun Sen and Kumo Senko Span B and also Senko Span A too and finally um, let me just talk about Senko Span A because Senko Span A is also a very important line too so Senko Span A takes the mid price of the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen and it shifted 26 forward here from the current candlesticks so yeah at first it might be kind of confusing but um, if you can put it this way I think it's more easier to understand so the current Tenkan Sen is here and current Kijun Sen is in this price level and simply the Senko Span A is the mid price of the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen here it's a mid price and it shifted 26 candles forwarded and currently uh, Senko Span A is going up and that's because Tenkan Sen is going up so Kijun Sen is flat but Tenkan Sen going up and that's why uh, Senko Span A is going upwards and so Senko Span A can move upwards uh, when uh, when Tenkan Sen move up or Kijun Sen move up when both are moving up that will make this Senko Span A to move upwards and so this is so and Senko Span A is a supportive line to Senko Span B so Senko Span B shows again the long term market momentum and Senko Span A is the supportive supportive line so so that means that the uh, if the price retraces from here and goes backwards to and reaching towards the Senko Span B it will go through the Senko Span A and then reaches to Senko Span B here all the way so when you start to see the price being into the Kumo I mean when you start to see the price breaks this Senko Span A downwards to into into the Kumo that means that the price might touch on this Senko Span B okay and so this is like the alert this is like the alert to Senko Span B touch and so uh, when you see the price being into the Kumo then uh, that uh, retracement might be very strong and it can penetrate the Kumo all the way downwards too and if the price penetrates the Kumo if the price breaks the Senko Span B downwards that means that all the line I mean all this uh, this market is now sell biased equilibrium is towards sell biased and that's what it shows here that's what it shows about the Kumo breakout so you can you can look at the example in the past here like um, in this past example the price initially it went downwards and then broke the Tenkan Sen uppers then broke the Kijun Sen uppers and finally it breaks the Senko Span B uppers but before breaking the Senko Span B it broke the Senko Span A uppers here so um, Senko Span A is the uh, very unique line because it takes the mid price of the um, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen and shift it 26 forward and this line is supportive to Senko Span B so when you when you start to see the price touches on this Senko Span A and it goes into the Kumo you can expect that the price might reach to this Senko Span B so in other words if there is no Senko Span A then um, 
you will never know whether the price is going to touch this Senko Span B or not. And that's when we should talk about the Kumo thickness. Uh, in this case, the price broke the Kumo upwards, and not only price being breaking the Kumo upwards, but also the price broke where the Kumo is thick here. And when you see the Kumo, I mean Senko Span B and A range, and the area between single span AB, um, when you see a thick Kumo here, then usually it takes more time. It takes more time to break this a uh, single span B upwards finally. And also we can expect that the price might be resisted by the Kumo and goes downwards from here too. So. So that means that uh, we don't want to take trades within the Kumo. Depending on which time frame you look at, um, you don't want to take trades when the price is in the Kumo. And so single span A, single span A shows when the price goes into the storm. That's what single span A shows. And when the price breaks the Kumo upwards, then that means that the airplane is now off of the storm. And now it's going to another trend. In this case, it went backwards. But um, um, yeah, we can see that the uh, most of the time, when it, when the, there's a Kumo breakout, it can go upwards from here. So yeah, I will talk about Senko Span A more in the future lives of this Ichimoku basic lecture series. But I just wanted to know the concept about Senko Span A too. That the uh, Senko Span A is another handel line. It takes the mid price of the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen and shifts 26 forward. And it shows when the price exactly goes into the Kumo. Meaning when the price loses its direction and when the price actually goes into the storm where uh, there is no trend and with a higher volatility. So without single span A, you will never know when the price goes into the storm. So you don't know when you want to avoid taking trades. But because of the single span A, we know when to not to take trades. And that's the essence of single span A, simply speaking. Okay. Thirteen degrees uh, Celsius in humid in East uh, Midland today. Okay, okay. Summertime in UK. Sure, sure. All right. Can you make a video about connect uh, con about uh, concept ichimoku connect ichimoku with price action, for example, on a forex tester strategy? Um, sure. Yeah, I can uh, talk about price action along with the uh, ichimoku too. Yep. Um, yeah, GBPJPY. I think I will take a look at it in the next live because now. I don't have enough time, sorry. Yeah, I will take a look at it next time. Okay, okay, all right. This is Y wave, right? This is Y wave. Yep, it is Y wave. The high are getting higher and the low are getting lower. So this is Y wave, yes. Okay, so let me show you my face, finally, all right? so. Um, yeah, thank you uh, for uh, joining everyone today. Sorry about what happened previously. Uh, the the um, the reminder timing was not correct. So sorry about the confusion last time. But just remember that the uh, the live will start at 6 p.m. GST. And if I cannot do the live for my personal reasons, then I will upload a video instead at 6 p.m. GST. Okay, so this is 9 a.m. UTC in summertime. 
and it's happening. It has been happening since uh, 29th of June 2020. All right. So afterwards, after this public live will be a uh, membership live. So once again, if you want to know more about Ichimoku, then I run this Ichimoku community where I talk more about Ichimoku King Kohyo five lines and also some of the uh, the other uh, important points about Ichimoku too. So if you're interested, uh, please uh, click on the link below and you will get to see more detail about this Ichimoku community and I will be waiting for you there. All right, so for those four Ichimoku members, I will see you on the Ichimoku membership live afterwards. So everyone, have a great day and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.